The Edinburgh Fringe has rebounded from pandemic gloom this year, marking a full-throated return to form. Perfect for kids and adults, only five pounds today. For the world's largest performance arts festival. But behind the furious street marketing, the often bonkers appeals to a wandering public on Edinburgh's Royal Mile, for many performers the fringe is less and less an open to all egalitarian experience. Stand up comedy, you'll have a great time. It's been expensive. The flyers, printing, the accommodation, the venue hire. Travel, everything. The people who want to do this are the most creative and the most poor <laughs> in general, so it's kind of outrageous that they have to spend so much money to do the thing they love. The Fringe is, of course, evolving with the times. Changing social attitudes towards things like gender, for instance, mean that often titillating show leaflets have had to be toned down. But it is that other defining issue of our time, the cost of living crisis, that some feel poses a real danger to the festival. You look like you've got a good sense of humour, sir. I mean, first of all, it's called The Fringe, right? So it should be, you know, fringe comics, you know, underrepresented groups, um, you know, a, a wide range of people coming here. It's not like a free creative space anymore, I think. Hello, I was just wondering what was showing tonight. There is a new cast of would-be stars, big names on social media, trying to make it big in front of real, live audiences. Welcome to the show. My name is Alex. And there are new avenues of performance. Artificial intelligence here, feeding lines to actors in an improv show. The question that lingers, can AI do comedy? Just give me a topic and watch the comedy gold flow. It's evolved massively just in the last couple of months. Like the things that Alex is now doing, the asides, the talking to the audience as they come in. He's got a sassy button. <laughs> I'm actually excited about what happens when robots become something that we deal with on a creative equal footing. Not a replacement, but something that we create with. What they're going to lead us to, I, for me, is something that we can't imagine yet. As times change, costs mount and the big commercial interests expand, much remains as it was. The Fringe is still a place where experimental comedy is most at home where shows like Bill O'Neill's Amazing Banana Brothers about slipping on a banana skin, OK, lots of banana skins, gets peals of laughter night after night. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera at the Edinburgh Fringe.